you've probably seen this infamous site if you owned an Xbox 360. The Xbox 360, a gaming console that defined a generation, was plagued by a notorious issue, the Red Rings of Death. In this video, we'll explore the reasons behind the infamous hardware failure and how it impacted the gaming community. Please do consider subscribing if you haven't already, it really helps this small channel grow. Launched in 2005, the Xbox 360 quickly became a favourite among gamers. However, it wasn't long before reports of a critical hardware failure, signalled by red lights on the console's power button, began to surface. The red rings of death were not caused by a single issue, but were the result of various hardware failures within the console. These failures were primarily attributed to two factors, poor design and manufacturing flaws. One major design issue was the inadequate cooling system. The powerful processors inside the Xbox 360 generated a significant amount of heat. The console's cooling system, consisting of a heatsink and single fan, struggled to dissipate this heat effectively. As a result, critical components like the GPU and CPU would overheat, causing the solder joints to weaken or break. These also then cooled off suddenly when the console was switched off, putting further stress on all the internal components. In addition to design issues, manufacturing flaws contributed to the problem. Some consoles were assembled with the wrong type of lead-free solder, which was more brittle and prone to cracking under high temperatures. Moreover, the Xbox 360's motherboard would warp due to the excessive heat in some cases, further worsening the situation. We can see here how different red light combinations indicated what the specific error was, with a failure of a single component indicated by one red light, and multiple hardware failures indicated with three lights. These would have been most likely caused by components coming loose from the motherboard after the brittle solder mentioned earlier cracked. Two lights would indicate the system overheated, caused most likely by the previously mentioned inadequate cooling system. The Red Rings of Death had a significant impact on the gaming community. Many users experienced multiple hardware failures, leading to frustration and loss of trust in the Xbox brand. Microsoft responded to the issue by extending the warranty on affected consoles and investing over $1 billion in repairs and replacements. They also released updated models with improved cooling systems and other design changes to prevent the issue from reoccurring. Did you ever see the Red Rings of Death on your Xbox 360? And if so, how many times? Please do subscribe if you've enjoyed this video, and thanks for watching.